Reason 21, the youth of today withstand heavy bombardments of mind control and degradation, some becoming stronger and smarter than their predecessors, while others hopelessly face early termination of mental and physical poisoning of the elite. There are those who serve consolidated dark energies under an elitist pretense and thus have been eating away at society for centuries. We will uncover their deeds and their involvement in this golden age amongst many other things it behooves you to know as they are trampled beneath our feet. This will not stop them. No, it's too late for that. The judgment is set for the children of Seth and they would just as soon push all nuclear buttons before they would cease and desist. What a miserable brood they are. Even now our government looms over 50 pounds of weapon grades plutonium in which it would take only one to blow up the whole Earth. This plutonium is being kept in the satellites we have in orbit over the planet. This serves as a way to keep benevolent forces from entering our atmosphere and saving the many species besides humans that exist here. Not to mention it is our responsibility to emancipate our own race. The world government has proclaimed to benevolent extraterrestrials that if they seek to physically intervene then they can pick up the ashes. This is why we don't see avid aid from other benevolent humanoid factions. They remain at the status of unseen. They show us the way through signs and seldom materialize. I have personally viewed videos recorded by NASA showing the use of the plasma cannon developed by Nikola Tesla to shoot at other spacecraft seeking to enter our atmosphere. Whether these craft are friendly or hostile cannot be determined by the video, however, it is safe to say that the prison planet is being guarded. Our minds now serve as the only link to those who seek to give us assistance. Internal charity is all they need to contact us. It is good, this is all. It takes millions to go into space by physical ship, but it's free with your body. What a treat the Most High gave us, a million dollar ethereal vacation vehicle. This is written so you'll be able to recognize friend from foe, allowing you to steer your course to what comes after the destruction and chaos, which is surely new worlds. You will do all of this while evading what you see so many people get caught up in because of belief and non-preparation. The world leaders are not the allies they have showed on numerous occasions that they are merely puppets and are fully animated and can put on quite a show that often deludes the non-observant. Reason 22. Politics is all a game. The joke is on us. Time and again the masses fall for the trick. We sent warners to them and they taunted them saying show us this god you speak of. You are crazy and deluded. Where is it? We cannot see it. Thus they imagined they could see pure energy with two eyes and not the one given them by the creator which they kept closed and beyond function in the center of their heads. So they were divided amongst themselves wondering if what was spoken was truth and they fell under conviction. They returned to one of the warners with threats saying give us the name of your god and we shall see. But alas, the warner could not provide a vibration familiar to them, so they stoned him, raised him as a martyr, and invented a name that was pleasing to them. Reason 23. When the third eye is activated, the illusion collapses, and then you see the world as it truly is. The oath of silence has kept many people from telling you what is detailed here in this fabulous work. The first reason most people were told to keep this under the strictest confidence was the ability for it to allow a powerful system to continue unchecked and running with few interruptions. Those keeping the secret could only benefit as long as what they were doing in its totality remained a secret. Most organizations, especially secret societies, are compartmentalized in a way where each group is only holding a fraction of the truth, thus new initiates never know the complete plan. Reason. Old plans are now coming to their completion and all the workers for the unseen hand are in key places of the government waiting to carry out the next part of the plan. Reason 24. All important positions of power, even the past presidency, are run by individuals who are initiated into secret societies. They don't keep their involvement a secret, just their practices. One only needs to go back 200 years and they find the entire civilized world involved in dark magic and grimoires. Countless novels were written by men who had made pacts with demonic life forms to represent them and do their bidding. 
This became so popular, demons trapped in jars, talismans, gems, and various other tools of dark magic were sold on black market at high value. The underworld operates in the dark, and it is hidden from plain view. The leaders of this world go about every day with ease and receive little attention by the masses as they crush the weak, expressing no remorse. A simple look at the criminal news network, CNN, and you'll see glorified slaughter in high definition. Many that have risen in efforts to oppose the tyrants have often been unsuccessful due to their lack of knowledge about the high places and also in regards to how the elite possess and control power. It is time that we admit we are not dealing with dummies that just need to be voted out of office. There is evidence of a massive plot that needs to be put to ruin. Leaders like Martin Luther King arose attempting to free people, but they were still remained trapped to the religion that did little for those he represented it. The first ship that brought Nubians to America was named Jesus. The most Christianity seemed to do for the Africans was make them more passive, brainwashed servants. In fact, pacifist movements always come into play when people were finally ready to rebel against the oppressor at the cost of their lives. There is a certain power that possesses a person when they are willing to lay down their life so that children may have one. This power often preserves the life of the courageous. This is a true act of unselfishness, a noble deed. After all, the adults that have lived till at least 30 in our current era have seen so much of life already. We have enjoyed what it took lifetimes for our predecessors to experience all in one vacation. We should thus do our duty in carving out a world for the innocent youth who have already bear the gifts of the future in their complex, beautiful minds. This is something I believe our earliest ancestors attempted to do, thus we must finish what they started. Reason 25, Martin Luther King receives an award from Illuminist Jacob Rothschild. The Illuminati plan pro-peace agendas all over the world to make people docile while they put the finishing touches on the New World Order. The tactics often used remain the same. Many have become traitors to their people for a moment of power that they will forget, regret, but lack reason diluted by promises of great material wealth, which will corrode under the inevitable pressure of time. We shall take up account with their souls. When looking today at those that still rule, their high ranks have been depleted, thus they are making new packs and selling what does not belong to them. This extends beyond material resources and has crossed into plasmic and ethereal surprise bartered through the trade routes that extend beyond Earth. All the miles that have been walked, all the pain that has been endured, all the walls that have been torn down, but we have one final task by delivering the final blow to the tyrants before they reinforce and re-legion. The soldier can no longer continue this present day because he knows what he's doing is obviously not for patriotism. So they put him behind a screen to kill and make it look like a video game as he flies a drone like it's on PlayStation 3. What he kills no longer brings a feeling since even the victims appear just as white lights or blobs of infrared on the screen in the tank or plane or battleship. Since the world is now in the information age, every soldier has access to zeitgeist and many more publications, revealing the intention behind the hideous wars of the past. This makes him question his role as in such disasters, since he sees that it is not to protect a country that we continue to kill thousands. Since they foresaw this coming, the chemicals already put in the soldier's diet to keep him subservience were increased. He was removed from the front line and put behind the computer to deal out death, still remaining under the foot of Jen Barol. Reason 26. With movies like Zeitgeist, Fahrenheit 9-11, and numerous YouTube videos, the modern soldier will be well informed of the internal plots and black bag jobs of the elite. Soon the true hero, which is given another name entirely, will rise from amongst their ranks, turning the tide against the negative forces. Injustice will not continue forever. Even a broken clock is right at least two times a day. The hero, Hor Hor, was a temple prostitute esoteric story character. 
We are much greater, encrusted sevenfold with positive energy as armor, the mighty. The biggest issue we have with overpopulation is people seldom greet any, each other anymore. When passing by on the street, jogging in the park, walking on the beach, pretty much anywhere unless people are drinking, and then nothing is clear. Truly, if we were prepared to see a one-eyed green alien and accept them before we can see our own neighbor who may be of different ethnicity, human nonetheless, we have missed the mark. There was a time that if you happened to see another human while in transit, you immediately greeted each other with hugs and kisses of astonishment as you tried to communicate by first giving gifts and showing them things you had found on your journeys as they did the same. You would explain to them the various territories you had crossed, what resources were there, and what to be aware of. Oftentimes you learned their customs and came to respect their individuality, marveling at how the Creator made up things so diverse. Now that has faded away and people are looked at as expendable, some even as worthless by others as racism increases. They have forgotten that if you climbed up the ladder, you're in perfect position to help the person below you. Instead, they give them the boot in the face, knocking them down further. We must reestablish communication. When you look around, if you see someone is lonely or troubled, speak to them. I find it amazing men will speak with devils, demons, and brutes, but not their own kin. Reason 27. The unique blend of ethnicities is one of the greatest assets of Earth. We have so many things to share with one another, while religion has kept us divided, teaching us not to mingle with one another. Our souls are all unique and none are the same as we operate on a team of multiple functions endowed with splendor and beauty. It is only the blind that cannot see this. People, no matter the color, never overcame and they still face a constant barrage of self-degrading tactics, especially by the sellouts of the music industry, bombarding the world with low frequency sounds. This is not just exclusive to the African Americans, but all the races that have members of who, thinking only of themselves, and have become the catalyst used by the dark elite to deceive their people. The Brotherhood of Ma sent Mahatma Gandhi a firm contract to the Theosophical Society as the Mahatmas and the Matriyas have always been. They were sent to quell the disturbances in India with pro-peace movement so the British could regain control as the uprisings began. The Indians, a people tired of being enslaved in their own territory by the British, finally reached boiling point. They pacified them through Mahatma's pro-peace teachings and kept them from taking back Persia until England could regain strength from spreading itself too thin in its hasty plans to complete world domination. Now they have turned their country into a giant telemarketing call center. Reason 28. Modern research in behavioral science and gestures has shown all of the individuals on the left to be insincere. The latest Lord Matria, positioned in the center of globalist Benjamin Cream, is scheduled to make his advent once the U.S. economy collapses. Lord Matria has already appeared in several countries of the Orient and all the spiritual leaders are endorsing him. Matria says he is the Matria, Messiah, Mahdi, that all religions have proclaimed to be waiting the arrival of. His miracles so far have been magnetizing water in which people can enter and become healed. There is no limit to these types of deceptions in these days as the science and energy of the body produces what appears to be miracles to people who don't know they can do the same thing. If you ask me did these men and women know that they were being used, I will tell you that I believe some do not. It seems they believed in peace so much it fulfilled them completely beyond understanding of bigger pictures. They could not be themselves if it was under some type of false pretense. To me it's no different from the pastor of a church the congressman with the beautiful family and the great smile, the bartender, or the inspired musician who brings forth the works of degradation. Reason 29. Media Mongol Sean Combs is actually wearing the Maltese cross, which symbolizes a heavier involvement in Zionist agenda. This cross cannot be worn unless you are an initiate. 
Even the rapper Jay-Z under the label Rockefeller Records could not use that name without some sort of granted affiliation by civil law. They are willing puppets selling out to the Illuminists to push rape music that gradually destroys the mental and physical moral of the listener. Rock has always been a, a tool, and right now, the pieces fit on why this is coming about. There are others who are very conscious of what they're doing. We find people like Emperor Holly Selesi, still revered by the war-torn Ethiopians of Nubia who are clueless to the paramount role he played in subduing that once rich, fertile country. He turned their remaining resources over to the queen who he was in constant retinue with. You see Jamaicans jam into Rastafarian tombs with little knowledge of who Ross is. Ross is another form of Ra, Marduk, a god introduced into Nubia by Ramses II on his maddening mission to be the greatest pharaoh to bring about the conquest of the whole world. That position he never achieved, thus he defaced the temples and shrines of Egyptian ancestors, removing the names and bodies of the previous inhabitants. Surely this was a dark man who would do anything for his personal gain, thus he prostituted the people to the gods of the underworld more than any in his lineage. Reason 30. First, Holly Selesi was exiled from Nubia and reared as a child by Zionist. He was given the first class education and then inserted back into Nubia where he becomes emperor. He then proceeds to divide the land and relinquish its resources to the monarchy. He's seen here with young Queen Elizabeth, Theodore Roosevelt, and the Pope. When you see and study all this, you begin to realize why not much progress to the right direction has been made for humanity. The people are taught to idolize our revolutionaries, presidents, dictators, religious leaders, etc. are placed in front of us like carrot dangles in front of a rabbit. We want to believe that we can elect one person to handle all the troubles of the world so we can go back to our daily programs. It is decreed that until we come together and take control of our world, those in power who do not care about humanity like me and you will continue to decimate it. As long as we keep trusting them and remaining lazy and insolent to what we get to do, which is take our world in harmony, we will not feel the yoke lift. As good people, we want to believe that people like Obama could change our course, although every indicator told us he could not. This is no different than thinking Christopher Columbus discovered America when there was already entire maps conscribed before he was even spermatozoa detailing the whole world from aerial view and it was not flat. Reason 31. As shown on CNN, Obama has more elitists in his lineage than most presidents in U.S. history. Zionism is not a color, it is an idea that is not even Hebrew. It is safe to say that what is put directly in front of us, especially through popular media, needs our personal investigation and common sense before it can be trusted. The sheer energy of crowds envelops all who are in the midst. As hearts begin to sink up, all are in the hands of so-called world leaders in the past. Few have led in the right direction as they grope about the darkness of Kali, yogi gathering all resources of their private groups consuming far more than the average citizen and ever loosening the yoke. We cannot continue to be looked at as resources rather than human beings. Taking the mainstream's word for it, it seems to always prove unintelligent. They are liars and they will say anything to make the masses disbelieve in what we have felt for so long, which is the religion, politics, social and economic structures are developed to hinder, not free the people, lest they raise the whole earth, which can be seen itself as a large ship, into the higher heavens. Those who have not fallen cannot ascend because it burns away all impurities. The gods need not money, it is man who needs the money, while gods divvy up what is more precious to them, the gold or the soul. With taxes taking 40%, the church taking 10%, what is one to do about the baby? 
the religion of Christianity has done enough on its own for anyone with a keen eye to see something may need to be questioned. Even the scripture says the proof of wisdom will be within the type of people it produces. I often say that many of those who are in church are only there because of conviction of the Lord. Whatever that statement really means, it sounds like a jail sentence. Anyone who does not see religion as simply stairs to the top will often get stuck on one level or another, thus never entering complete enlightenment and only perceiving its premature phases. Enlightenment itself comes from having a firm foundation of truth, unshakable, not able to be moved as it is fortified in exactness. That exactness comes when the real truth of whatever faith you elect falls upon your ears. At least in that moment you have the opportunity to really serve the God you claim to worship. You will now have the hidden doctrine of these faiths which is generally preserved for the priests. Reason 32. When Rome merged with Egypt, they borrowed the rites of Isis casting Jesus as Isu as the new Horus. We are not saying this individual did not exist. In fact, he did. However, what we are questioning is the final destination of the Christian soul, which is the underworld, just like it was with the rites of Isis. Ra is the ruler of the underworld. He's better known as Amen-Ra. That's why Christian prayers are concluded with Amen. The Latin word for prayer, which is oration, indicates the power is in Orion. In 1999, a movie titled The Matrix was released and made its way to the top of the box office, churned the propaganda machine with numbers rivaling Star Wars. The City of Freedom they gave the name Zion, a blatant Zionist propaganda as even churches pride themselves on being called Mount Zion. Just as Bob Marley had swayed to the tunes as he sings about Zion, a city depicted as having no worries, and this is anything but true. The defeat of the mind of the masses was subtle, not by force. When the flutes, cymbals, and lyres play, the formidable human force is lulled to sleep. Reason 33. Many love the flow of Bob Marley's Rastafarian music, never once noticing the Zionist connection. When the shields of the mind are down, the enemy is sure to invade. The New Age movement now insists there is no enemy, and this is just a figment of a mental hologram. Poisonous vipers, their words are sly. We need to take back Earth or get ready to leave it entirely. What is to come cannot be escaped. This was set in motion a long time ago and does not reverse, so we must work beyond it. They say humans unlock their true abilities under the scenario of fight or flight through the adrenals. Learn to stimulate those expressions and begin to work on you. Remember, what is happening does not come from a particular race of people. It is an idea that many are aligned with and has consumed their rational senses. There were, of course, many things hinted and alluded to in the movie The Matrix itself that we now find, find in fact to be true on various levels. It leads one to ponder the exact design of what we are really faced with currently and in our not too distant future. What kind of force would show us in something we are supposed to find entertaining that is trapped in an Oz like mechanical netherworld where our senses and abilities are limited and our energy is harvested? It beckons one to ask, are we really in the matrix? Can we be pulled out of the matrix? Is there an actual code to the matrix? This book will show you beyond the shadow of a doubt that the answer to the questions being proposed above is yes. And that is not all. This book will awaken your memory and quicken you, thus causing your DNA to reformulate, which will prove to be possible by the end of this composition. DNA itself is manipulated by the mental state, surroundings, and acquaintances of the individual subject. When these are altered for a constant period, the DNA itself alters and reformulates according to its environment. This means that once you become firm about what you know to be true, especially about your special abilities that have been dormant, 
the DNA will reconstruct itself to make what you believe again to be possible happen. This is one of the main secrets of creating the superhuman. You have to give it reason to activate itself. This takes consistency and as we talked about earlier, a firm foundation grounded on truth to what reality is, not what Maya or illusion attempts to make you perceive. The value of this to your future would be of tantamount benefit, especially in the world of today where knowledge is power. You can thus remove yourself from the cubes known as the hexagon or the beehive. At one point, long ago, a jealous force recognized certain types of knowledge meant unlimited power to those in possession of it. Thus, much of the valuable knowledge was removed. All written copies were burned, although at least one copy was placed in a five-mile library under the Vatican. In replacement, we received lies mixed with truth, which does a horrible job in the mind as we watch the masses plug about clueless, still searching for themselves because religion has fulfilled almost none of its promises. Reason 34. The elite depict the world full of worker bees trying to be something, but they are trapped in hexagonal cubes. This platonic knowledge introduced the dark square or cube. Pythagoras introduced several methods of trapping organic spirit into matter slash cubes. We will speak more on this later. We are talking about the level of foreknowledge which gives you the ability to know what will happen before it takes place. This is the time it is useful as things must speed up. You will be able to do this without the aid of books and scholars, thus you will be placed back in the driver's seat of life, exiting the checkered cab. The issue we all individually face is that we wait to see what is going to happen next before we react. It's called reactionary. This leaves you with no preparation and little time or ability to shape the future. I say that one should confront danger and fear before they become closed in by it instead of allowing it to greet you at the doorstep while your loved ones are inside. Run and face it so you may prevent it or at least prolong it. This may in fact give those you care for the edge they will need to prepare. Again, think about the seven-year-old who will have to live at least another 10 years in this world and what they are to face in those 10 years. What kind of monsters have we left for them to battle? Supplying people with this information will at least allow you to say that you did the best you could, which is also why I write this to you before my departure. When comprising this particular work, what came across my mind since I had long discovered the code was to write a book that even when the reader was finished, they could continue to write their own unique personal novel of experience. Due to the fact that we are all entwined in some way or another to what we are experiencing now in the world, you will find amazing sinks in your life that all roll into why you are here. Just because few are using the collective consciousness channel does not mean it's not always broadcasting. We are always linked to it. In fact, it's more like two lovers who have fallen asleep on the phone and the lines remain open although there is no one speaking. It's time you began to unlock all mysteries and most importantly, yourself. Often I began lengthy writings only to leave them incomplete. Pieces of those writings you will find in italics throughout the book as they serve as tidbits of poetry to ponder. The rabbit hole is far deeper than I expected in the beginning, not to mention the fact that after you get deep in the rabbit hole, you must climb back out, which they forgot to mention. You don't want to be in any hole, trust me. When you learn the whole system, you will have so much knowledge you will not be capable of fitting it all in one book. What should be kept in mind is once you start to unlock, you will see what used to remain hidden everywhere in plain view. This also means that everything is not contained here, only a framework that is needed for you to build your own ladder out of the cube of flesh into the sphere of spirit. After that, the statement will come true that if the oceans were ink and the trees were pens, you still could not write about everything you know, in fact, to be true.
With that being said, I've done my best to narrow the book down to what is of highest worth to know. It was originally meant to show how words themselves play one of the most valuable roles in your individual awakening. The latter morphed into a detailed story of our true past, present, and future. Even the elites cannot say the old language is no good anymore, so from today you will use this new language. That only happened one time in history, in the confusion of Babel, when tracing the story of Babel or the gates of Ishtar, a far more complex story arises than the brief chapters dedicated to it in the Bible. In the ancient text, one story holds about Babel. This tower, or ziggurat, had multiple purposes, and it was connected to a gate, and the two went hand in hand. In most ancient tribes, some type of structure was built to serve as a portal of a communication between presiding god or goddess and the people. You'll find a precise geometric layout of some type of construction, whether stone, altar, pillar, temple, hollow tree, or various other portals. You will learn that the geometric structure, especially on its number of sides, has everything to do with the type of energies being invoked from what dimension, plane, expanse, or abyss they hail from. In Reason 35, you'll see a rare picture of a prehistoric London, now synchromistically called Babylondon. It seems that Atlantean art style deco is preferred. The pyramids have four sides because they are massive gates in the fourth and eighth dimension. These dimensions, although very different from the third, are functioning and highly populated, unbeknownst to the masses. It is time to understand that multiple worlds exist already function, some far worse than we are currently in, and some in complete harmony, harm money, like utopia, but not by that word. Let's get there.